Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and Mac 20 Questions, and today I'm going to show you how to do some sliding from Android to iOS. My favorite application for doing some journaling on iOS and on the Mac is day one, and there's no Android app to go with it, so what can I do? Well, I don't want to have all my stuff in two different places on two different applications on two different systems, so I've decided I'm going to find a way where I can do my day one journaling from an Android device, and I'm going to show you how to do it. At first I thought I might have to send emails to myself and then rip the text out of that and put it into day one. But I found a way that I can get stuff transported magically to my Mac using Dropbox. And when I've got it in Dropbox, all I have to do is get some Kung Fu magic going with Keyboard Maestro and it's automated in there and I don't have to do any more work with it. It's done, dusted, brilliant, marvelous, and it works. A slide. So we've started here with this application called Draft and what we're going to do is we're going to use it to create a post to put into day one. So let's get started. First thing to do is to press on the plus button in the top right hand corner there and get started with a new note. It's going to be a text note and I'm going to give it a specific name. So let's just put the title in here. We're going to call it day one. And now we've just got to put some text in there. And I'm going to use the Swift key keyboard again. And I'm going to press on the button at the bottom there where the microphone icon is. So I'm going to dictate some text in there. And by the way, it usually works a whole lot better than this. We'll just save that now. Press on that save button in the middle. And as you can see, there is the day one text. And it's already been synced across to the folder on iOS and Mac. And as you can see in the note there, all of that silly text is in there as I put it into the draft application on the Android device. So let's have a quick look and see what we've got here with this keyboard maestro macro. It's set to go at 11.30 every day and I can choose which days I want it. Maybe I don't want it to happen on Monday or maybe I don't want it to happen on the weekend. And I've also got a hotkey there and the hotkey is control, shift and the equals key. So when that is pressed, it'll do the job of bringing it into the day one application. So there you go, that's the file that's going to look for in the draft folder. I've told it to pause for one second, then it's going to go to Command A to select all of the text. The next keyboard combination is going to be Command C to copy it. And then I'm going to move on to Command Q and that is going to quit the application. The next part of the macro is to activate day one. And obviously I can choose whichever application I want in there, but day one is the one I want. I have the command one keystroke in there because that in day one brings me to a new note. And then the command V pastes my text into there. And then the command S takes that and saves it. And then the command two puts it into a different view. Then it's going to pause for 1.5 seconds before it's going to delete that day one text file from the folder. And that's all there is to it. So let's do our little keystroke there and see what happens when we do that. So you can see how quickly all that happened there. It opened it up in TextMate, copied it, took it into day one, pasted it, and the job is done. So if I double click on that there to see the page for the day, and you can see there that there's the note that was made in Android and it's moved its way into day one. And it was very easily done. If I hadn't have used the keystroke that I made to do it manually. At half past 11 this evening it would have done it by itself and I wouldn't have had to think about it. So there you go, that's how you can do day one journaling from Android. You can use day one for personal diary and you can use it for journaling. I like to keep a track of what I'm doing on my computer and make sure everything's going right and I can go back to it and say ah oh, I did that with that then and know what I'm doing sometimes. So there you go, that's how you do it. You can use any text editing application on Android so long as it syncs up with Dropbox. And once you've got it in Dropbox, then you can use Keyboard Maestro or you could use Automator if you really want to. But I don't think Automator is quite as reliable as Keyboard Maestro is. And once you've done it, you'll have all your stuff in one place in day one on your Mac and iOS. How about that then?